jam. <laughs> jam. Driving in from the track, I always turn the radio on to the freeway traffic alert station. And the other day I heard the best one. The man said that the Santa Monica Freeway near the San Diego off-ramp was congested due to an indecent exposure case. <laughs> They're working on getting him off of there now, he said. Meanwhile, I'd suggest you take an alternate route. <laughs> Which, of course, nobody did. This isn't about Hollywood and Vine, the Hollywood sign, stars on a dirty sidewalk, or another insight about another someone having once lived next door. For you see, all that cozy pussy on those cold and romantic winter nights in simply charming wood frame houses on hillsides and flatland are no more. It's all gone and still going. The fire's been put out and replaced by expensive high-class cunt living in even higher-priced condominiums. I remember my first lay was in a bed of warm dust of a barbecue pit half past midnight somewhere in Griffith Park. She was crazy, middle-aged, drunk on toque wine, in desperate need of instant rebirth, suffering repeats of the same old adrenaline rush, coming apart and screaming, I knew them all. I was around 14. A few years later, the train stopped coming down Santa Monica Boulevard. They ripped up the tracks. They didn't need any more. A year ago, I stopped snorting coke and coincidentally stopped getting laid. But looking on the brighter side, I've saved a couple of bucks in dry cleaning since I threw away that satin jacket. It's hell not knowing the rules while still trying to play the game. A few more memories are coming down. Some more condos are going up. Mondo, condo. Hollywood High used to be a school. Now it's a concept. It's anywhere in a quick drive past freaks and midgets and 35-year-old gidgets pissing in their pants and throwing up in brown paper bags. It's another dyke knife fight in another narrow little alley. It's gypsies on junk and hookers unleashed, Melrose by day, sunset by night, Mexican boys and American cars hitting on all the little white girls who are eternally lost in their personal storms of revolving parental paranoia. And for some reason, they don't make movies about those things. Fine. That's all. Thank you. Good night. You got a tough set of wheels. Hey, what's under that hood? Well, I got a 357 Chevy engine. I got headers, holly, three-quarter racing cam, M50s on the back, G60s on the front, USND high-polished slotted rims, and it turns 14s in the quarter mile. <laughs> Daddy pay for that one. Well, I'll never tell. I'm kind of hungry. Why don't you say we go get something to eat? Sounds pretty cash. Bikers used to hang out at Arby's all the time. Yeah, but the food there is trash. Who's look, who's, who wants food? No, I'm not looking for food. I'm looking for men. What kind of guys you go out with? Oh, I like them. Blonde hair and blue-eyed, really good tan. They got to be surfers, and I love nice-looking cars. A van with surfer racks, with a refrigerator and chairs and wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. And don't forget the waterbed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like they say, if this van's a rockin', don't come a-knockin'. What's happening on Rodeo Drive lately? Oh, nothing. All I know are all those Iranians are taking it over. First the Iranians, and then <laughs> there goes the city. Pretty soon you'll see Iranian debutantes. Hey, do you go to Beverly? Yeah, yeah, Beverly Private School. I won't go to a public school. That's just too tacky, too trashy. You meet all the lowlifes there. I agree. Hey, you like my Gucci bag? Hello in there, dedicated to Jack Skelly. My name is Dennis Cooper. The strawberry alarm clock struck 13. The giant crab came forth with its mouth wide open, scaring some long hairs. I was staring into the strobe light. 
One by one, the band members joined me. We looked pretty far out from the balcony. You're fascist, muttered a guy wearing Wyrams. Fuck politics. Why did I say that? I was on mescaline, hashish, and opium. My ego was climbing the walls, buried under a slide of Nepal, riding the back of a woodpecker flying backward through time into the broken red head of the protester, drifting in space, growing minuscule in the millennium. My shirt was black with white speckles, still is, and my former girlfriend wears a print dress, sewn from a tablecloth found in the actual whiskey a go go. She's keeping its ashtrays as earrings. When I turned my face from those flickering images, I was 19. I saw this, meaning us, here, today, as the result of a mirrored ball, how it turned with the cosmos, reflecting them up on the ceiling, screwing it off. The churls were the opening act, jamming several leagues under the light show in this very basement. They sang that we would be happy and warm, meaning now. I tried to sit, a serapi around me, watching the circle jerk spit at the spotlight. It looks like stars if you scrunch up your eyes, but they're yelling the same things that frightened and wised up a lot of us when we were a few of the thousands of stars up at Woodstock, friends of the eclipsed at Altamont. I'd like to dance to the music, but the farther I look in these punks' narrowed eyes, the more I see nothing. A recreation of life before anything happened, got naked, took acid. Back then you could make war stop coming by placing your hand over the lens of the slide projector, remember? But no more. So we live far away, and we're hippies. We lie on our backs in a rye field, watching the dark sky revolve. Looks a little like us up there, and that's how we like it, we think, when we think about it. Thanks for thinking of us. Best wishes, Ian Bruce Douglas, singer, Ultimate Spinach. L.A., the only place in the world where everybody you meet is on their way to become somebody else. Reputations are made here. They're like straight jackets, so easy to slip into, but so hard to take off. You can hitch a ride here. You might even get picked up by a Mercedes-Benz limousine. And for five whole minutes, you're riding through the Miracle Mile. <laughs> but you have holes in your shoes. Interview with the outer view of whose view? For once, we should see the riverboats come cascading down Hollywood Boulevard as the flood of curiosity reaches dramatic proportions and eventually all manpower from the 14th precinct is walling forward with arms lent from the Wax Museum and the Western Costume Company on Melrose as everywhere else there's a tide of resentment and KFWB predicts three to four foot swells, choppy and choppers remain the thing of awe for each who can crawl on one has got to be either rough or ridiculous and there's more of that, too. However, this ain't the place or the time, for only imagination can fully capture the proceeds that roll out of this immeasurable lack of memory, dean of promiscuity and author of confidence. Hollywood, surely the Statue of Liberty will land here when the big earthquake arrives. Are there any girls here? Hitchhiking in L.A., 102 degrees, smog bellowing, burning the eyes. Get picked up by a man, first thing he says to me is, sure smoggy out there. I said, well, mister, look at your exhaust pipe. You sure could do something about it. He says, hey, it's OK. I only use my car for transportation. See ya, Ben Franks, Bob. Make it canters right All right. I called it playing hard to get so I can salve my wounds over your neglect. I love to watch you when you don't know I'm looking, especially if you sometimes catch me. Then I get that little pang of humiliation that kicks me in the stomach and makes me feel so good. I love to torture myself about you because you're such a strange creature. It's much more fun getting all hot and bothered over neurotic than someone who might return the compliment and have a crush on me also. I engineer sordid little soap operas. You're always a star and I'm the leading lady, biting my knuckles in agony and weeping into my pillow. Then I find out I'm pregnant, and it's much more fun if you're a big shit about it and call me a whore and a tramp and send one stinging slap onto my tarnished virgin cheek. Or else, we could be in a 39-cent love comic, and you could be going out behind my back with my best best friend on earth. I find out and try to commit suicide in the gutter and refer to you in my note as an animal or say in the heat of passion with streaming red blood from my paper white wrists, with love-struck tears pouring from my eyes. Oh, you heel! 
and you just laugh at me with no mercy, looking breathtakingly beautiful and dashing and handsome, and then get engaged to my so-called friend. Or else, we could be in a movie together, a big extravaganza. I could be the one you were in love with all along, but I only had eyes for another man. Then he turned out to be too nice and boring, and he wanted to spend the rest of his life with me, so I went crawling back to you the good guy outlaw, begging forgiveness, telling you how stupid I was, and it was really, truly you, all along. <sighs> and you gazed on me with scorn and thinly disguised hatred and a pretty, twisted sneer face. You told me to go to hell, called me a stupid slut. So I loved you all the more and wanted to get back at you. I went into a convent and flagellated myself every night as a bride of Christ. Isn't it amazing that after one night of drunken fucking and then pretending that we're still only just, hi, how are ya, friends, the next time I see you, that all these peachy fantasies can come of it? I'd think you'd be immensely flattered, but apparently you're not. Either that or you're just not as sick as I am. But you must be. I know you are. You're only afraid to show it. So now I just pretend I'm playing hard to get when actually you're playing hard to have. Quiet goodbye. You want poetry or a mind fuck? I can give you either one. Get a second la raza! Shouted in my face and to my back. I thought it was racism and out of place. Tell me again, I couldn't hear you because I was blind. You were right and you were wrong. What if the baby looks Mexican, he asked. I'll kill it and feed it to you, I answered. Drug hallucination. Drug hallucination. I think Drug that having a younger man for a lover Drug would be a real yawn. As Drug a graduate student, I have to teach Drug freshman composition classes, and I've Drug had plenty of opportunities to get it on with those Drug big boys. They come into my Drug office for conferences, and some of Drug them practically sit on my lap. Drug but you see, I know them too well Drug to be interested. They don't know Drug about the war in Vietnam. They don't know about the electric Kool-Aid acid test. They don't know that the Jefferson Starship was once called the Jefferson Airplane and that the star of the group was Grace Lick. I could go on and on about Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, and Simon and Garfunkel, about love-ins, sit-ins, and moratoriums. My 18-year-old jocks don't know anything about the things that make me what I am. I feel sorry for today's youth. They never had a movement, never had pop idols with ideals. I wonder what I would be now if it hadn't been for Bob Dylan and Joan Baez. Would I be unimaginative and conservative like the kids in my classes? It's probably not their fault but they just don't turn me on. Under the big brown blanket in the sky, Los Angeles really gets me high. There's nothing that can change my mind. Los Angeles is very kind. I would never leave my town, even with the sky so brown. Kid, this ain't no rock and roll dream. You said, kid, it's really real. I'm part of the Surf Punks. Uh, thank you. Uh, 1947, 32 years old at this time. 1981 radio, uh, beach, uh, action, uh, uh, per, per, uh, recording, uh, meters, more level, volume, video, uh, Gemini rising, cancer, uh, cancer moon, Capricorn sun sign. Think about it. I need the beach. I have to have the ocean. It's my only reference point. That's all I have, man. That's all I got. I mean, you know, sunshine, skin cancer, coming through smog, ozone layer depletion, I, you know, it's all great. I'm just, I just figure that I'm building up a tolerance to the whole thing. There are some of us that are going to, you know, die off and some of us that are going to go on. And I, I'm trying to be one of the latter. Watching the evolution of the beach for about 20 years and, and, and checking the, the basic mentality of a lot of these people that come to the beach. I mean, they actually think that the few short minutes that there are hours or days that it is their beach. And they think it's their wave. I mean, I've seen them. I've been out there where they go, it's my wave. And to me, that's totally absurd. It's their beach. It's our beach. It's No, no, it's my beach. I forgot. How has the beach changed over the last 20 years for you? So when I first moved to Malibu in 1956, think about it, 56, um, the beach smelled like salt water. 
and you know, like it had a certain smell about it. it. Now it smells like treated sewage, which is fine. I built up a tolerance. Doesn't matter. I, I, I don't mind it, you know, swimming in sewage. I don't care. But I mean, that's, that's how it's changed. And of course the people, but it doesn't matter because I thrive off people's vibrations. How about people coming here on the weekend? Uh, I don't care about them. I mean, you know, there's a lot of them, but I just walk through them. I, like a zombie, I'll just go right through anything. Like a tractor, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll plow through anything. Okay, now let's get back to your life and then we'll take it all the way up. Born in Santa Monica, uh, 1947. Uh, oh, I grew up in Studio City, which is in the valley. Sorry. Sorry, I'm a valley. <laughs> I'm really a valley. <laughs> this is really important, too. I, I gotta admit I'm a valley. So, uh, it's okay. And then we moved to the beach in 1956. I think that people that live in Malibu, and I've known quite a few of them, are basically recluses from the city who really couldn't function very well in a neighborhood situation. I mean, uh, and they're all out here. There are people close together, but they don't know each other. All the people that live on the beach, they don't really know each other. They don't know their neighbors or anything. So that's what it was. From 56 to now, I've lived in Malibu. Southern California roll in the 80s. I think we're going to break off, man. I think we're going to break off, and I think it's going to be great. We'll probably be another country. Why? We'll have to start another country, because we're going to be separate from the United States. You can feel that. Already. I feel it. I feel a break. I feel the earthquake coming. Someone had to do it. Someone had to tell the reality of surfing, and that's it. This is an album of winners. Almost everybody on this album either can kick ass or, or, or get laid. I'm gonna build my dream house on the sand. It'll have more square footage than Disneyland. We'll rip up the plants, mow down the trees, put up a huge wall to block out the breeze. I've got a new bathing suit for every day of the summer. But why bother? Because you know as Californians, don't go in the water. Whoa. We don't associate with the locals, can you blame us? The only people we talked to were rich and famous. The money's moved in, it's here to stay. Hey, I'm from New York, get out of my way! Honk, honk, beep beep, wee! <laughs> There's more to life than hanging out at the beach. Hey man, you know? like, you know, the pier is just, it's fun. That's what I like to do. Why be mellow? I mean, being mellow is just burnt, you know? Well, it's let's, not let's burnt. kick back and take some acid and listen to Grateful Dead. <laughs> I'm not into that scene. I'd go out surfing, you know, I just want to catch a few waves. Shit, no. man, I just like. All I want to do is like get away from this scene. It is coming down on me, and it is like really get a job, go to work, you know, five days a week, to nine to scene. five. It's just like blowing Pick up my your paycheck. Mind. I just don't know what's going on. I just gotta find some reason for doing this, man. I mean, escape, total. You can't escape. July 9th, 1952. Scott Goddard is born to the proud parents of Robert and Gloria Goddard in Van Nuys, California, on the corner of Sherman Way and Van Nuys Boulevard. Uh, across from the unemployment office and kitty corner to the Big Five Sporting Goods Store, which g should give you some indication of how my luck's been. Uh, they've ripped down the building that I was born in and replaced it with an Arby's. Uh, I've written songs for the Surf Punks, the Dickies, uh, I was under contract to Leon Russell as a staff writer, and it hasn't done me shit. That's basically the deal. I'm working with a guy named Gene Maros now, who's another poor goy schmuck like me. Uh, I'm now driving a truck, driving around the valley, making up stupid songs, uh, try dreaming about teenage girls. I'm 28 years old. Uh, I don't know. Life is great. Uh, it sucks most of the time, but when I get little... These little strokes, like time in a studio, keep me going. So I'll just keep doing this until I make money. And I hope whoever listens to this somehow can get me some money. I think art is like a big waste of time. I mean, I just dream all day when I drive my truck around. I just dream about living in Malibu and being bitching and getting a hair transplant and, you know, really happening. I was a Val. A Val is a, a person that is from the San Fernando Valley, which is a somewhat of a bedroom community adjacent to Hollywood and the coastal area. Uh, every day I would hitchhike the 12 miles over to Panga Canyon to Pacific Coast Highway and I would go to the beach. Uh, at that time all the beaches were private so we'd have to uh, we would have to sneak under fences and stuff and trespass on private beaches to get some sun and so therefore the feud between the beachers and the valleys began probably in the early 60s. Since then, the Coastal Initiative freed all the beaches, made it so nobody could build on the beach. Every val in the world that wanted to could come down there, lay there. Unfortunately, every val in the world did come there and lay there, and they left 
tons of potato chip wrappers and Fritos wrappers and beer cans. The valley doesn't exist anymore. Life is blood, a dangerous death. Everywhere you look, there's violence. We try to forget, we turn on TV, we go to the movies to experience feelings. But in my imagination, everything remains the same. In the world of my imagination, we all drop our fucking games. Don't slap, don't kick me, don't push or drag me down. Your bullshit bondage fantasies bore me. Crucification, incarceration, incineration, no dedication, no chance, no recognition, no romance, no way. But in the world of my imagination, the valley doesn't exist anymore. Zodis, pennies, Fedco, Sears, religion no longer can numb your fears. In my imagination, people are cool, earth is heaven. The valley doesn't exist anymore. Mission Control Calling. So many of my brothers and sisters are owned by Madison Avenue Television Tobacco Company High Fashion Mafia Drug Upward Mobility Brainwash. I keep wondering how long people are going to continue smoking, living for recreation, treating body like shit, eating cancer, ignoring holy inside us, complaining, we're being ripped off, we're being ripped off. It's all talk and no play. I'm canceling my media subscriptions. I haven't had a television for six years and I haven't missed anything good. It's a myth. We don't know where the brainwash begins and our own thoughts end and vice versa. We're all living in Jonestown while snapshots of Saturn appear and silicon chips memorize encyclopedias of facts, whole farms destroyed by weather intervention as the government tests brainwave weaponry, tactical brain warfare. Automobiles lies, foreign policy lies, oil lies, the truth lies within us. Get hip to their game, 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 lies. The United States of Russia, we're the Russians. Murder, 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 murder. Minds warp because people live in televisions. We're all televisions. Reveal your personal lies, public lies, Get real, America. There's a souped-up Model T on its way out of the galaxy. I'm Russell Parr, your superstar, and I'm driving through town in my big black car. And the chick's out there with your real short hair. You think you're hip, but you're going nowhere. You're talking loud, making noise. I can't even tell you from the boys, but just the same, I ain't that lame. And I got something for your funky thing. Come here. That's right, baby boo. Come here. Come here, baby boo. It's twisting and kissing. Oh no, it's all happening! Baby, your beanie's got me stuck in a liftoff pattern. Your bubble's in trouble. Let's blow bubbles, baby. Let's do it, honey. Let me be the kinky sponge monitor, man. Hey, I could blow soap on your scene. Baby, it's your bubble party. Hey, your bath or mine. Cause when you exude purple bubbles in the stratosphere, baby, I see like the white light and I wonder why. And I say seven up with a three on it, I say shake, rattle, and vibrate. Hey, man, my switchblade has your name on it. Cause baby, like you flip my lid. Hey, your sponge is my slinky. When you giggle and when you wiggle. Whipped cream on your scene. Cause it's like I wanna be Sunset like your electronic strip. love doctor, man. And we gotta synchronize our beanies. 77. To a more Sunset copacetic dance. I'm driving all the way to California in my Volkswagen bus. 
gonna find myself a nice apartment. Near the ocean, it's a must. They tell me there's a lot of mining for girls. A lot of natural things to see. I'm driving all the way to California, cause it's the hippest place to be. I'm gonna land a job in the movies, working summers on the beach. I'll find a girl who will show me around and who's willing to teach. I'm gonna learn how to barbecue and ride the wild surf. I'm driving all the way to California to claim my new home turf. My mama said, hey son, watch out now. There's a whole mess of smog. The traffic gets real intense. You may get lost in the fog. I said, Mama, you don't really believe that. Smog kills LA trees. I'm driving all the way to California, cause it's the hippest place to be. That reminds me of albino watermelons. If there's a contrast between glue sniffers, then there are horses' heads flying with strange wings, flapping, flapping, flapping. But could there be some mistake? Horses' heads are flying with strange wings over my albino watermelon patch. I want to know, albino. Could there be a slight indifference to mistake? Look around! Never mind the corners. Players are playing slayers, and slayers are saying prayers, and prayers are somehow closing deals with no options to renew. Everyone agrees it's good to escape, and even greater to understand it. But what about my sand castle? I want some of those sultry sand queens too. Maybe even the pharaoh's own Doctor! Just give me one day to be a bullet on the charts and let me hear that bitch scream. I want to be in movies. I want to be in cinema. I want to be a big star. And give the world a cultural enema, eh? Huh? I want to know, albino. Should I remodel my crypt with fancy imported beer-stained paintings and try to grow up, especially in the dark? Must I venture one more time into unknown stretches of city dumps and try like hell to keep the dream alive while thinking of every possible solo cigar stunt and if I dye a different color, if I D-Y-E a different color, will I be buried under skies crowded with strange wings, flapping, flapping, flapping? Because when I go, I truly want to know if there really is a contrast between glue sniffers. Horse heads are flying with strange wings over my albino watermelon patch. Could there be a slight difference, 
a slight indifference to mistake. I'd really like to know, albino. On the midnight rural highway, skid marks on the pavement flashed in my headlights. I thought of you, Jane, of your headless death, your car ramming the back of a truck in the Louisiana back road night countless news stories ago, and of how, before you died, I slept with you in my puberty, of your breasts on crumpled Playboy pages, hard nipples pressing through a tight swimsuit like maturity through my skin. I have returned to MacArthur Park, lost seagulls showing me the way. I bus myself to Hollywood each and every day, remembering Manila from a chocolate point of view. The war is over over there. It is my understanding that commercial music is built on the aberrations of society. Sex, dub, music. Us those whores, pimps, faggots, cockroaches crawling up my fucking knee. <laughs> Meet Rack Man. Meet Rack Man. Meet Rack Man. Meet Rack Man. For cock for a toy for all slaves to enjoy. Meet Rack Man. Meet Rack Man. See the studs, drinking bud, he's got a two, the brick throughs. Love and pain, that's his game. Pinch my nipples, slap my thighs. Meat rack man, meat rack man. He's living sin as he goes in. Meat rack man, meat rack man, meat rack man. Man, yeah, just a kid from the country, backpack on his black back, had his problems of pleasure and pain, lines of cars and concrete movie stars. It's a shame, just another 20 buck romance in the heat of the night, it's a shame. Meat Rack Man and all my street friends, and oh, my street friends, oh, my street friends, sometimes you pay for who times, sometimes you pay for who times. Meat Rack Man, the sweet little Alice by day. At night the door would slam to take in hand to a two-minute, two-time orgasm in the promised land. Whips and chains were sweet Alice's little game. Whips and chains going down one way, the wrong way. No one understands. Meat Rack Man, Meat Rack Man, with a cock for a toy for all his slaves to enjoy. Meat Rack Man. See the studs, drinking bud, he's got a tooth, break the rules. Love and pain, that's his game. Pinch my nipples, slap my thighs. Meat rack man, meat rack man, meat rack man. He's living sin as he goes in. Rolling, let's hear it. Okay. The real problem in Malibu is not Pepperdine. Pepperdine is students who are here for a few years, and they're kind of smart, and they're kind of rich, and they're kind of scholastic, and wow. But usually, they're not so bad. They're not as bad to me. They're not as much of a threat and a bother to me as the Vals. Anybody in Malibu doesn't even want to tell their friends when they have to go to the valley. It's embarrassing. But what really makes me sick about the valleys in reference to the beach, is, oh, if you live in Malibu, you want to go to the beach because you go to the beach most every day, like all Malibu residents do, but on weekends, holidays, summer vacation, what do we have at the beach? Crowds. Are they locals? No. Locals don't go only on weekends, holidays, and vacations. Locals go every day. So, we have beautiful beach all year long, and then we have... Weekends, holidays, and summer vacation, the, the beach is filled with bells. They make me sick. They make me sick. I'm, I'm sorry. I try to be nice. In fact, I'll tell you, it bothers me to see all the girls wearing the same kind of bathing suit. <laughs> I mean, 
You know, you can always tell someone from the Val because she's wearing a cheap bikini that's probably one color on one side, one color on the other one, and they, co they pull them up really high, like, you know, pull them up really high. Some of the really cool locals affectionately refer to that as a PB. Now, I want to be crass, but PB stands for Pussy Bender, which is obvious. So here's these little girls with their little PBs on, and they hike them up really high. Oh! So, so they're really being their peas. And, you know, I suppose it attracts the local boys, but then the beach is all filled with valley dudes. Now, our local judge is very, very down on people who cause automobile accidents in Cane and Doom Road. I wish I knew the statistics, but I bet they're all valleys. They cross over the double yellow line in an effort to hurry to the beach, and they kill our poor local residents who were, ow, who were minding their own business driving in their lanes. Stop. Anyhow, so... Me and my friends have the greatest time all winter long, riding our horses on the beach, splashing in the surf. It's very good for conditioning their legs. But we can't do this in the summer. And we can't do this on the weekends. And it's not because of the locals, because anybody who lives in Malibu is not only probably used to horses, but usually they like them because people in Malibu are so cool. Anyhow, so the beaches get so crowded with people, insensitive people, you, you can't, can't ride your horse, horse on the beach, beach at all. all. Not only because it's against the law, but also because even if it wasn't against the law, if you just try to kind of sneak down to the surf to let your horse paw in the sand a little bit, usually the lifeguards don't bother you if you are cool about it. But here comes 25 little girls from the valley. Oh, can I pet your horse? Oh, yeah, horses! Can I ride your horse? Oh, what's his name? It's not a boy, it's a girl. Oh, what's his name? No, no, it's a girl. Oh, what are you writing a book? I mean, what do they care what your horse's name is? No, you can't ride my horse. No, you can't pet my horse. Get your fucking little valley hands away from my horse. You, hey! stu you stupid insensitive PBSP. You make me sick. You make me sick. You make me sick. But I try to be nice to the valleys. Really, what Malibu residents like about Malibu is the solitude. The people who live in Malibu care for their yards, care for their their neighborhoods, care for their schools, care for the type of people their children with. So let's go to Malibu and have a party and leave our beer cans. Okay. Hey! Okay, come, come <laughs> on, Hi! We're, we're the, the little, little girls, girls, and, and we're, we're from the San Fernando Valley. Harv, honey, do you think we might be able to get together over this long weekend? Do you have a tape you're trying to play for me? Are you repping another new band? Yes, you told me to always be honest and upfront when I talk to you. Okay, play your tape, Michael. Oh, here comes my twin sister, Cecilia. Hi, Monica. Hello, boys. Cue it up quicker, man. <laughs> bad air, bad air. San Fernando Valley, Topanga Plaza, sneaking into the Topanga Plaza before it was finished being built. Once it was being built, having the place so well cased out that I could steal records very easily without anybody noticing. It was an extremely uh, wonderful setup. I, whenever a new album came out, I always knew I could grab it. I attended the opening of the Ventura Freeway. I was, a, I was in uh, Ridgewood Military Academy when I was six and seven years old, and our particular class was chosen to open, the, uh, help o uh, open the uh, Ventura Freeway from Winnetka Boulevard that, that stretched on into Hollywood. And we were in our uniforms, sort of marching on this freeway, and, I remember imagining uh, myself walking along this freeway, wondering what it's going to be like when all they let all the cars loose. L.A. has a strange effect on the natives. You tend to ride that long, slow wave and ignore the details. I knew L.A. was hip from the time I was born, but I was 12 before I noticed the palm trees, 16 before I realized there was gold in the streets, and 24 before I made it to Art's Chili Dogs. One night, I walked out on the patio, and it was like a golden book of astronomy evening. I mean, it was just gorgeous. And we were watching Invaders from Mars on the tube. It was on the Million Dollar Movie three times a day, and we were in heaven. We were in heaven, man. Lenata Bay. It's really changed a lot. There's more asphalt. It's Mondo condominiums. It's, you know, Perrier. It's, it's that whole trip. I'm really getting sick of seeing uh, uh, roller skates in cutoffs, which is, is wrong. I've noticed this, the jail baits hanging out at Lanata Bay again, and that is a real rush. There's not enough blonde, blue-eyed girls 
on the beach. What happened to the West Coast? People are waiting for the earthquake, but I think it already. I, I think we already had it. it happens. It's happened some some time ago. I think. I Jacob's the, surfboards just went out of business. I, the sign is going to come sign, down. Man? You know who's moving in there now? Realty man. More oh condominiums. God, More was... condominiums on the beach. Mono We're going to have to move. Hey, man, I'm going to have to fucking move. Some guy from the Bronx or, or fucking Queens is going is to skate up and, uh, and buy the place, man. I don't know. I mean, what is going on? Hey, I got a poem. Almighty oh, teacher and illustrious friend, within your blue spirit my soul does bathe such eternal tranquility and only a block and a half away. The slip of your hips, the curve of your back, you ride just like a crash Cadillac. Your empty eyes, your raven hair, you should see yourself, baby, but you just don't care. Love butchers, makes a fool out of me, love butchers. Pick up the heartbeat, love butchers, oh, it cuts me in two, love butchers, and I want a slice of you. A sliver of lips, a hand of please pardon my heart this isn't like me your face is madonna your china doll skin do you think it's the weather or is it just sin love butchers it makes a fool out of me love butchers pick up the heartbeat Love butchers, it cuts me in two. Love butchers, I want a slice of you. Okay, that's a keeper. We're going to Pasadena to see the Pretenders. 
Okay, let's jam. Thank you, Rodney. What's wrong with the 80s is we need more good records being made, and we need more songwriters like P.F. Sloan and John Fogarty, and more singers like Paul Jones and Dusty Springfield. I knew a boy whose ancient grandmother owned a legacy of frozen time. It was a ticket to ride on the Titanic, and it was kept in an old locked leather trunk in an attic, an old sunny Santa Monica. And on cold, windy nights, while the gypsy gargoyles played upon the cliffs and the genies of another age strolled the seaside parks, she would take it out and clasp it to her shawl. And here, far away, over the iceberg's chill and the bleak, polar, inclement sea, the gurgling Titanic, calling for its passengers who have been away. Get out, girl. Don't be a fool. You can't win in the land where the surfers rule. Guys are cool. Rights and lefts, lefts and rights. Ripping days, shredding nights. The surf is righteous. I might just try this. The real curl cruisers aren't Val Geek losers. If it swells, ride it. If you're lame, man, hide it. Don't care if it's hot dogging or casual logging. If you're hot, score the pot. And keep your good eye out for a fox of a chick in a teeny bikini. Make sure she's just like an Aussie, but not nearly as bossy, just bitchin'. Excuse me, boys, but my man Jeff, he's a surfer. Wonder if you could call him in for me. He's the one with the eyes that see underwater. He's the one who lives on boards. He's the one growing gills where his arms should be. He's the one who just caught that ride and is hooting and hollering like a wild cowboy. Go for it! Now he's spinning and ripping through time, thrashing over and inside the surf's arms. Ain't he radical? Or would you just say, rad? Oops, he just ate some shit. His board's running away from him and running towards the beach where he sees me standing and yells out, hey honey, the surf is perf. Five foot and glassy. Hey man, I'm five foot one and three quarters inches and offshore. Okay, so maybe I can't hang five, but when it's one foot and mushy, ain't I just gliding like a pelican? Didn't I almost strangle myself trying to get into my wetsuit just to be with you? What kind of a bird are you that you only come to life in the water? I notice you're paddling back out again. You can't even hear me. Pretty soon, we don't even speak the same language. Did we ever speak the same language? And I'm here on the beach with all these surf refugees. And they're mumbling stuff like surfers rule, guys are cool, rights and lefts, lefts and rights. And I don't know who you are, but the land is screaming out to me, the war is over, the war is over, the war is over. The sun is setting and my toes are cold. When you come out of the water, someone may tell you, that I have gone way inland. To your language, I will be like a seal who knowing death is near has crawled up on the land to die. But in truth, I will at long last be a woman east of the Pacific Coast Highway, far past the point where life for you disappears. I will be there and someday you will know that truly I must be stoked for life. Swa is your future, if you have one. Swa is not political. Swa is not religious. Swa is the order implicit. In the chaos surrounding us, there is an order implied, that order. The order implicit is Swa, your future, if you have one. There are those who will shun Swa. We'll watch them destroy themselves. You're either swa or non-swa. There is no middle ground. 
the problems facing the world today are a direct result of the violation of principles implied no manifest in nature itself. The key to SWA is unified thought. That is thought without contradiction. Those capable of unified thought are undeniably SWA. All others should let the command group think for them until, if, and when they are ready. SWA is good. Trust is important. SWA is, therefore it is. SWA is the only, the only panacea. With SWA we can have it all, beauty, love, hatred, destruction. We can tear down the world and it all works. Yes, go ahead. Would you please identify yourself? This is Captain Johnson of the L.A. County Department of Parks and Recreation, Division of Beaches. Go I'm ahead. I'm a uh, big fan you. of Stella's show, uh, Stray Pop. I tune in every week. Well, I bet you do. But on this occasion, I felt that I had to call in and advise Stella that uh, on behalf of the other L.A. County lifeguards, I must insist that she keep those punks under control while they're in your studio. Oh, I got that one. Hold on. Be because the airwaves, the airwaves, like the county beaches, are for the use and enjoyment of all the tax Yeah, bring your trash. Come on. Angeles we need county. more trash. Bring your trash down to the control room. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to remind you kids one more time about the rules. No drinking in the studio. No dogs in the studio without a leash. No it's drug Mr. abuse Beach. in the studio. No loud noises in the studio. No camping out in the studio after dark. No playing frisbee in the studio. No disrespectful satire of disco God, music in the studio. Like no that. littering. No kinky blonde hair. And no, no skateboarding kinky blonde hair. Yes, How sir. about yes, kinky sir. dark hair? Do you have any gas on you? Have I made myself clear? Is it odd or even? Hey, I, you look kind of, you're, you're kind of a straight guy, aren't you? Damn straight. Thank you. No, we, we like that. Thank yeah. you, thank you, Mr. Straight, for calling in. We do appreciate that. Now uh, listen, Stella, you keep those punks minutes. under control. You hear me? Use a different voice next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, night games. The night's gonna hound you with its tag teams that surround you, tempting you with entrance to their games, which are never the same, the safe. Or sane. The night authorizes drama, power, intrigue, invisibility. The night's got it, and you too, because the white side delights you, but the dark side invites you. Jugglers. Hustlers, gamblers, picking and licking scraps of pleasure off the hoof of dawn. Well, I want more. getting chased by the whores now I hate fighting but I hate hiding more and time eats my back while hope licks my sores we need new hope new recreations or we will seek our relaxation on the road to our devastation. There's a devil moon out tonight shining on my lust. I'm waiting and I'm ready. 
for the fire of a touch. So come a little closer, walk slow, but take your time. Because if tonight must last forever, I want to wait to make you mine. Wait, just a heartbeat longer. Wait, until the hunger is stronger. Just wait, until we don't care about nothing except getting what we came for. From the light of that moon, just the outline of your face and the smell of your skin and the power of your gaze, the salt of your kisses and the memory of your taste is how I want to know you and we've got no time to waste. But wait, just a heartbeat longer, oh wait, until my hunger is stronger because I want you and you know it. And if you want me, darling, show it now. Come on now while desire is the flame. Turn off the lights and don't pretend you know my name. I won't ask you to love me and we'll have no one to blame except that devil moon that drove us through this night no one can claim. It's a great time to be in Los Angeles. Um, downtown is my Los Angeles, and it's an incredible place to be right now. There's a whole new thing happening there. There's lots of life on the streets. That's what I like about downtown. There's people on the streets. There's pedestrian life. You know, there's um, Main Street's an incredible, incredible place that I love a lot. And Broadway's a fantastic street that I like. There's a whole new art scene that's developing downtown that's really really, really happened. In 1981, I suppose if 1981 really means anything, it's that. It's the like a rebirth, this whole new art scene downtown that's really, really exciting. You know? uh, four or five hundred artists living hardcore downtown right now. Uh, big scene, lots of galleries, lots of excitement. Everybody's moving downtown. It's very nice, very nice. Everybody's moving into old warehouses, old abandoned buildings, building studios, turning out some good art, putting L.A. on the map. Los Angeles is 200 years old, and the star of the moment in Los Angeles is a beautiful 20-year-old pitcher for the L.A. Dodgers named Fernando Valenzuela. He pitched opening day at Dodger Stadium, 50,000 people. It was incredible. It was remarkable. It was what Los Angeles was all about. Hi. This is Jane Bond of Jane Bond and the Undercoverman, and when I'm bored, I listen to Rodney on the Rock, KROQ 106.7 FM in Pasadena. Endless summer fog, Calle de los Virgenes, no sky, the dark men linger, the shabby doorways, no, no virgins here, the lake, a true story of riot and death, lights, mariachis, action, blood. Uncle Max arrives at Lax and wants to see El Zorro. Cruise down Wilshire, yell Exploro. Drink OJ like no tomorrow. Be a brave conquistadoro. But in June, the foxes lair inside the fog, watching the conquerors silent. And Wilshire wavers, and the mariachis drift away, down Calle de los Virgenes, into the last door. Wednesday is a day for baldies in L.A. or Cripple Creek, center of week like the center of pineapple ring from out of a pineapple can, fierce fibers of pineapple radiating out from, from nothing. Yes, there are Wednesdays by choice, WBC for short, Telly, Yule, Uncle Fester, and half the population of Orange County, World Boxing Council, for Christ's sakes, includes in its membership Emil Griffith, you remember him. He's taking the slow train to Wednesday, ride from which there is no return. Tick, tick, tick. It's Tuesday, 11 p.m. For you, Sean Connery, and a guy you might know named Marco Peroni. Tuesday night, better shop early. Nightmare of first Wednesday, just around the bend. Local Savon reports brisk sales of inositol and choline, and at no extra cost, an FWC. First Wednesday comb. Teeth limper than the hair they groom. These teeth will not yank. They are made from the Wednesday page of TV Guide. Lou Grant reruns at high noon. Middle of Wednesday is as middle as it gets. Wednesdays. Sundays with nothing on them. Just a plain ornery scoop of icy cream. Come in flesh tone flavors only. Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, lemon ice. Vanilla fudge in some states. 
Baskin Robbins is proud to announce the Wednesday Deluxe Scoop and a Pineapple Ring. Although Orthodox Baldies find it redundant and calorie counters among them avoid it like VD, belly plus bald pate is a fate worse than pasta fazool. Hold that ring, is one talking now. Center is plenty for me. There are Uncle Tuesdays. There are. Wednesday duds who shield their affliction by means of a doily de scalp. Hats off to them for the trickery, but not on a winter's day. Science tells us frostbite on one December Wednesday too many, and your Wednesday unto Thursday, and Thursday's the day for off the wall. Hairlessness, heinous, horrible, got none, in a harassed society, will do it every time. Leak in the Wednesday ceiling equals bats in the belf. VFW, very fuzzy Wednesday. Rug, carpet, astroturf, toupee, teepee, wig, all wigged out. Uncle Wednesdays, yeah, we got them. Natural Thatchers who pretend to be fakesters to get on a baldy's good side. If discovered, there are no hard feelings at all. Unless, of course, they're card carriers in the Anti-Wednesday Brigade. You know, it takes all kinds. Official translation, though, for VFW is Veterans of Foreign Wednesday. Guys who lost it overseas. Peacetime, wartime, what's the diff? When Woden rears his ugly follicles, it's goodbye shrubbery, even in Southeast A. Agent Orange and the Wrath of Woden, a great title, huh? If a baldy wrote that, they'd give him the Nobald Prize. Wait, stop the presses, they found it. Finally, after all these years, the Woden Papyrus has been found in a suburb of Oslo. Woden was, it says here, a cue ball himself. Says also that Hercules, while not a Norseman by birth, played a hand in, well, I haven't translated that much yet, would be silly to speculate. So let's just talk about the Hire the Wednesday campaign. No big deal, hire a baldy. It's only for one day a week. We're standing on a corner and we're acting nonchalant. We don't really have nothing. We got everything you want. Yeah, we're so cool now, right here in the big town. Uh, we're so cool now, in the very latest drag. Uh, we're so cool, uh, we're very into hanging round. Uh, we're so cool, and we play that rock and roll. Hard rock and roll, rock and roll. Save your life and save your soul. Taken aback by visions of mythological past, dangling a strand of hair blowing gently, patting hands held together, rotated slowly, an impenetrable fortress, deceptively delicate, the slender eucalyptus and its overpowering fragrance. Out in the harbor a boat, trimastered towards the sky, looming in silhouette against the sinking horizon, I watch the sun set, cherry red, it consumes all in sight and is by turn digested. Breezes coming off the ocean currents, walking slowly down gentle waves, a solitary aviary wafting to the night, gliding carelessly, a soft caress. To look closely in my eyes, images protected, reflected, illusions, illusions in forsaken dreams. Deeper, a reservoir of light, encompassed by the white, forever, of Pavonian seas, surrounded by the roseate dawn. Gazing, fondly fondling, and the word known to all men, touch, touch and love, giving full range to a universe on its edge where all are hunters and all hunters are poets in search of the white whale. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, Axel, how you doing? Hey, Jen, good. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. Uh, what you gonna do tonight, man? Oh, uh, I think I'm probably gonna head out to the valley, man. You know, go over to Rosemary's Pad. You still seen Rosemary? Yeah, of course, <laughs> man. You know, she's a casual. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she's cool. Oh, first I gotta go to church rehearsal, though. Oh, you guys gonna rehearse tonight? Yeah, tonight, later Mind on. if I drop by with my no, girl? Come on by, man. Bring beer. Okay. Yeah, some drugs. All right, I have to watch you. See ya. See ya.
the valley. <laughs> Pretty heavy, huh? <laughs> New Jersey of Los Angeles. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. How can you well, describe the valley? Well, you know, I mean, wait, 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 I'm just talking about like the stigma. The stigma. You there tell is, you gotta lie. You gotta there lie. There is a people, stigma to valley people say, girls. Where are you from? You say, well, I'm from the Sherman Oaks Hills. You know, on the border. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because, you like, you try don't to make it sound a little better. <laughs> sound a little better. Because, like, if you say you're from Tarzana, they expect you to wear. Jordan you know, I don't even try and do that. I just come right out. I have princess damage. <laughs> I admit it. I admit it. I'm stuck with it. I've had it my whole life. Oh, Valley boys. They're they're a real pain. They're really a very big trouble. You have to understand that. You know. Valley boys only drive Mercedes that they've borrowed from or their Corvettes parents. Or Corvettes right? or Porsches. Exactly. When, as soon as they turn 16, or Mach 1s, they have to have big speakers or in the or, back. Or they, or I Valley they, boys oh, only... And Mavericks, because like, their parents are too cheap yeah, to Mavericks buy them a nice are cheap, car. Right? But it's got a fastback, so that makes up for it. <laughs> right, right, right. I never had a driver's license until I was 19, but as soon as a guy said, hey, will you give me a ride to Hollywood? <laughs> Wait, I what? came here and immediately hired house. Coffee shop, 19. That's very old for the valley. I know. Any valley boy can make a fortune. I always talk to valley boys. I know, I they have with, the Midas touch. And they're stupid, and they've made a fortune there. I know, they're they, always they're in real estate. estate. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> real estate, exactly. And they I made know, a fortune. They they're, living in their own, they're living in their own house. They always palatial estate in Burbank or something, you know. You know what? And they always have great bodies because they belong to Jim. Exactly. Mm. Nautilus. <laughs> Nautilus. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, today I'm walking on Sherman Way, right? I decided I'm gonna go soak up some valiness today, so I drive my car to show me why I'm walking along. Crossing the street, some guys yell out, Punk rock sucks! <laughs> now, I look like a punk rocker, right? right? Yeah, yeah, but that's yeah. their mentality in the valley. Uh -huh. They wear shorts with underwear hanging out underneath it four inches. That's the difference between a valley guy and a city guy. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, every Jewish mother in the valley tells her daughter, never give up your maid or your hairdresser. <laughs> Those are the essentials of life. that just once I could walk down the street and forget that I'm not supposed to drop my body down into the eternal sludge of mud and generations of saliva, gum, and cigarette butt that separate the street from that market over there. For that one moment, I could live the glory of the gutter, pressing the loose swoop of the kingdom into my face. Through every strand of the gutter, deep into my scalp, through every pore of every inch my flesh, deep into filling in the depths in every ears, floor, my mouth, every and finally my, my eyes, feeling in the Praying, depths of my ears, like my today, mouth, and finally my eyes, no rain. Praying, like today, for no rain. On Rodeo Drive. Where self-esteem is just been a veneer, 
with its glibness, clothing, hipness, hair, on Rodeo Drive, where life is a series of gay deceits, treachery so pleasant, there's never a defeat on Rodeo Drive, where unaboriginal cowpokes still wear ritual masks, walk hand in hand with nylon nymphet and slick and slacks on Rodeo Drive, where rent-a-cops dance with faceless mannequins, Arab sheiks pay court to sexless clones again. It all happens, babe, on Rodeo Drive. In the English department, the reader leans on the lectern, clicking out stanzas in an abacus voice that scrapes blood from splattered pictures, flicks dew from country lovers' asses, pushes bodies into boxes to deliver clean lines in reconciled columns calculated in an observatory at midday to fill 100 pages every other year. In the comment period, I ooze wet payins, but an old Boyle Heights work shirt fixing a light bulb in the corner spat. Shit on academic security. In mine land, a poet took his life in his hands. Hello? Hello? Do you hear me? Can you hear me? You don't know me, but I know you. I sure as fuck know you. I'm a painter. I mean, I paint. No, I do have enough to do. No, it's not a hobby. It's a way of life. No, I'm not bored. I'm only talented. Don't shove me out of line. Don't pretend I don't exist. Don't lock the gate and tell me I don't belong here. Here with the rest of the white male art. This is L.A. You live on my land. You drink my booze. You smoke my grass. You fuck me and call the place a museum. But you still lock me out. I'm a painter. I mean, I paint. Look at me. Look at me. Do you see me from the neck up? Now that you see me, do I scare you? It should. You know who I am. I'm exactly who you think I am. I'm the blackhead you called me. I'm right behind you wearing my one black glove and the razor blade in my hair. And like you say, all the way. You don't know where I live, but I know where you live. No shit in the 80s. Hi, this is Mystic Sound in Hollywood. Sorry we cannot come to the phone right now, but please leave a message, and we will call you back as soon as possible. This is Doug Moody, thanking you for calling Mystic. Goodbye. Doug, Harvey Kubernick, studio needed this week. I'm going to be at the Huntington Hartford Theater across the street on Thursday and want to record after the show. Let me know if we can put this hustle together. And uh, do you happen to have Rainbow Smith of the L.A. Girls' phone number? See you soon. Thanks. Sure I did it. You want to know more? The worst thing that you ever did is throw me out your door. Sure I'll do whatever you say. They'll say it too now the boy's down the way, ha? Huh? Oh, tell me, baby, how much you love me. Oh, tell me what you thought when you first laid eyes on me. Oh, don't you know that I'm crazy about you? Sure, 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 sure. I'm the bitch with the red lips. I'm the one you ought not kiss. And I'm the one who's missed by men with satanic torture and angels of bliss. Sure, sure, sure. Ha, ah, don't you know that I'm crazy about you? Sure, 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 sure. I believed he loved me, and when he said he always will. But his love was vicious, his love would kill. Tell me his love's too good for me alone. And walk away, like before, like the girl he left back home. He could see it coming, and so could I. So I sit and listen to the guitar cry. Zebra, but that doesn't start with an X, so it doesn't matter. This is too weird. <laughs> Tantric boogie. I think I still remember when I stopped believing life with men and cards and cars and football stars. You played me your guitar. 
I still find you hypnotizing with your diplomatic improvising while your smooth skill orchestrates the will of artists to create despite their contracts, armor plates. Your style doesn't fit the norm and your average man is like a swarm of flies in the fields of sheep buzzing all around the heaps of dung to take a stroll in and eat. A prophet in his own home, a man who lets his thoughts roam, a tantric from Tibet who hasn't learned quite yet how to play along in this vignette. I think I still remember when I stopped believing life with men meant cars and cars and football stars. Another grand illusion shot to hell. Teenage victims of time Try to cop a dime Leaning on a new line Coming out of Beverly Hills And the beach with their stuff They be looking tough With that shine and their steel tip shoe They be acting Up drugs and picking fights. These motherfuckers be glib. But when things looking bad, that ruddy nose be running back and check a mama's crib. Say, the musicians, man, they be alright. They got a day job so they can afford to pay so they can play for y'all at night. Cause they be playing for people with a bird on their wrist. And all their so-called fans be on the list. All biding their time, waiting and trying. This ain't no gold mine, mama. These folks are dying. Meanwhile, the disco fags, they got a star. Their symbol of jive on that come soaked slum called Hollywood Boulevard. Where the pimps and the hoes be strutting their stuff. The choice wives got insulted, so the cops got rough. They shot some poor dude from their cockroach car. Ah, oh, and he bled. Disco star. Record company got their heads so far up their ass that they substitute methane for music, cutting sheep thoughts and calling it a stone gas. They don't know shit from shoe shine. Oh, and this new artist, they say he be like Einstein. Huh. Every time. But the ugly empire be burning down fast. Cause there be a spark in a cloud of taco gas. Burn, baby. New crush and roaring. Yes, sounds. Bringing up life from the barren ground. An infinity of silence. 
motherfucker, we gonna get down. Why you be choking on vomiting piss? Preaching dark poison and, and cutting your ribs? I be popping this dark decade, draining the sea. Your chronic need for temptation halters me to brandishing bedrooms. However, you and I became congratulated souls. I did with ecstasy and redemption. Those cherry blossoms were greater windows, beautiful publication in stereo, windless microphones, elongated strings, and pigmented skins, marvelous hurrahs of winter in California. I'm ready for rivals with contempt in dreamland. When an earthman wars slowly, a trumpet mirrors whiplashed beggars. They've begun to depend on this old Cromwell. Where have bashful foldouts drifted? I reappear in lame boxes for the benefit of Mr. Light, who whimpers over puns while waving body rhythms, a season to become investigating receptors. Our concern is with lumpfish and bean poles, a tragic sight in megalopolis dainties. What of the real distance between points B and C, beckoning in solitary confinement? No need for distance thronging or dishwashing, not to mention working for the other guy. Counting the days geometrically, we rub off on each other, momentarily enjoying, then detesting. It's all for the making, and really is okay, because time refracts dustbins and shells. We can disregard the quantum delight, Whenever changes are meteorited, I seem to detect Renaissance systems at work. Distinguishing a difference between your smile and laugh, I recount it all. We can still dismantle redundancies or bark platitudes. There are always dishwashers desiring radiator rapport. I place my thumb piano on a Hemingway novel, thinking it a good analogy, a dime store trick, Yet trying to determine the difference between redemption and retribution, I fall over, deciding not to wait but to go fishing. Disgusting conditions can redefine elastic thoughts. Can't we remember pine cones in December and 20th Olympiad figure skaters for the cameras? We slip into rapport. We collided aimlessly for a fortnight, devouring each other, our idiosyncrasies. Cramped quarters breed in different school teachers, too bad for waiving deadlines, insufficient funds. Our patience has extinguished the smoothness of silk at your fingertips, like trumpet E-strings. This causes you to relax your position on things. Ancients sat cross-legged before summer solstice. Moderns drive Highway 101, pull brassiere straps and condoms. We are the hostess with cheesecake ready for dessert. Our confidence has multiplied into shorthand taking care not to participate in trivialities. Our temperatures were too high. We rehearsed them. No more spotters under horizontal bar. No more cavities in left molar. No more taking turns at 90 miles an hour. We begin to regard our senses more accurately, transposing meditations in flight, clambering up shanties, and dispersing in gratitudes with a shrug. It is forever. It is kinetic. It is changing. Man, it's raining. It's raining so hard. I don't feel like going to school. It's raining because today the king cool. The king. Oh, how I remember those teenage beauties. Squealed, squealed, squealed. That hillbilly cat really made it cool to feel. Lightning streaks up and down his back. He's in full regalia. Tough guy. Hard ass. Pink and black. I can remember hearing, I'll be the first in line. Man, I was flying high, getting my socks blown off in my Buick 59. Man, it's still raining. Can't believe summer's almost gone. It's been a long, long week. Can't wait till the sun comes out. I'll go swimming in the nearest pool. But right now, it's raining. 
because today the king cool. And man, it might rain from now until I get religion. Born in Queen of Angels Catholic Hospital in 1952, nice Jewish girl. Grew up in the Baldwin Hills area of Crenshaw. Saw the Beatles' so second L.A. performance at the Hollywood Bowl thanks to Carol L.A. Saw their last L.A. gig at Dodger Stadium. Saw the Yardbirds play at the Hullabaloo. Saw Jimi Hendrix play at the Hollywood Teenage Fair. Went to all the Pinnacle production shows at the Shrine and saw every band to ever hit L.A. Those are my bracelets. I never take them off. Got popped at the Broadway and Crenshaw Village Shopping Center trying to kipe a new dress to wear to see the West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band. Grounded two weeks, no phone calls. Went to Dorsey High. Met God, Jeff Beck, when I was 18. My parents moved to the Valley, but I am not a Valley. Went to three different junior colleges. Joined Backstage Pass Groupie Girl Band and played for four years. Last recording unreleased was with Lee Stevens, guitarist from Blue Cheer, and Chris Shandell from Viva Beat. Worked at two record companies. No job now. 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 Married an English guitarist pop star. I will live as long as I Peter Pan. I will live as long as Peter Pan. For many years, this planet has been under constant surveillance and observation. Unknown forces have been responsible for producing strange and unusual phenomena. A shroud of secrecy engulfs the UFO mystery. To date, only 7.7% of the many thousands of UFO sightings are still unexplainable. Perhaps what this planet really needs is something that will jolt us out of our self-centered, selfish outlook on life in general. But time will tell. Time is yet to be conquered by man. But when the time is right, perhaps the greatest revelation of all time will dawn upon us. Yes, my friend, this might very well be the year. This could be the day the day that no earthly power, governmental or otherwise, will be able to keep the secret of the saucers from the human family on this, the third planet from the sun. Until then, keep looking up, search the heavens, be alert at all times, and remember, truth has a habit of marching on. Off Hollywood, 1978. All day long, we try to put it together, but it just keeps falling apart, and there's no money, and I can't hold a job, and we live in the bed, and the drugs fill our life with terror, and there's nothing more to do. 
I try to be honest, but all that comes out are lies, and it's so bad to hear it's going to be all right with the broken glass on the floor and the disheveled furniture. I live in a fantasy world with fantasy thoughts and feelings, hopes and dreams. I don't even know what day it is. My job gets so boring I beat off under the desk. I carry fantasy weapons when I'm on the fantasy street. I have fantasy conversations with fantasy people that I meet. I especially love those fantasy orgasms and fantasy mouths. My fantasy tears, pain, and anguish. The fantasy bile at the back of my throat. It's not my world that's falling apart. It's all of theirs. My moms and dads, the people I work with, my friends and neighbors. Ever notice how some things demand your attention? Like being shot, like a cock up your ass. I drive a fantasy car. I have so much fantasy money. Herds of avocados at the urinals. Mama counts with her beads. Next day, she brings herds of avocados wrangling with chiles, trusting I'll grow firm and breed. Embryo abort, come with me. Embryo no, abort, no. come with me. Don't split no. the cord, abort, suction tube. Don't split the no, cord. No. Sanity. I want to Rant. plunge through my mother's cunt, oozing her blood, Blood-tasting. skimming her excrement. Skimming her pain pain full of excrement. Pain pain excrement. Full of excrement. Pain. Pain. I want to be slapped, slapped by a rubber glove. And my eyes I want to Ooh. nurse my money from the street. street. Suckling and suckled. I want to be gang Rape. raped Rape. at 16. I want to be found in a gutter, drugged out of my head, just imagine, shooting up, with my cock Cock. in my mouth, in my bones and shit, but shit shit piles, piles. dead, don't split the cord, suction tube, don't split the cord, sitting here, underneath a humping man, I think about the boy upstairs, and the man humping him, the boy upstairs is well known, and egocentric, I hear that the boy above him thinks about the angels. He looks dumb as a turgid cock to me, split end hair, peeling skin, and he's built like a papaya. I hear he's so attractive on the street. Footsteps. I should rush with this man, let him rest, then pick up the bills on the dresser. Maybe I'll catch a word with the boy as I leave. All set, oh boy! All set, oh boy! Supported by his choir of low women, Falsetto Boy! Falsetto Boy! Sings for the Wranglers at the disco, Falsetto Boy! Falsetto Boy! That stomp on the floor like big gyrenes, Falsetto Boy! Falsetto Boy! That stomp until dawn or for boredom, Falsetto Boy! Falsetto Boy! Or till they wrangle a bull boy in a niche. Falsetto's public has flat feet dilemma. Falsetto boy. Falsetto boy. Falsetto boy. Falsetto boy. When encountered by a wealthy Dallas big hat. Falsetto boy. Falsetto boy. Falsetto boy. Falsetto boy. Falsetto sings fellatio for free. Little ho, slut, pig. In the dark. Fuck what? Dismembered. face. Shit face. He will not remember the features that lured my master's passion. Not many men are fit for my master's mouth. As the boy enters, my gopher eyes scour the street. My fat nose fogs the car window. My simple fate is to wait. In the dark, dismembered, he will not mind my foul attention. Hey, if you're in three feet of snow, Kmart parking lot in the middle of Northridge looks pretty damn good to you. Angel baby. Morning, she's an ugly bitch, map of last night's lust gray in gray dawn, tracks, lovers dried cum at her lips, along her neck, and breasts litter of tourists, eager freak seers down star-lined boulevards, her mystique, 
click cameras courting the rich, famous, profane. Abandoned by her hasty cock hound, moist and sticky between billboards, mocks fame and fortune. She runs an ambivalent tongue across plaque caked bums and teeth, tastes bitter residue, zeon and cocaine high, glitter her eyelashes, pepper pillows, Hollywood's heels as she struggles to focus in on day. Head throbs, blue, white, and pink collar traffic headed downtown. Feels like she's been gang banged by a dozen record execs. Hit single in her ears. In bad need of a facelift, gal. Years catching up. She grunts, stretches, rises, shakes and scratches her tangled, smog-filled crown and stumbles toward the Jane. Ah, queen of the jet set, no matter how many lovers leave her for New York. I use the term they a lot. Believe me, every evening I get on my hands and knees and pray. Please, Darby, make them call me a poser. The last thing I want is to be accepted or associated with those no-brain drool buckets. Ayanora uh oh Shredder. Located somewhere between the rotting L.A. graveyard and prefab upstart Orange County lies the forgotten land I've somehow been sentenced to dwell in. A sheltered bastard, unwanted by both, needed by no one, connected solely to the outside world by asphalt threads of embarrassed freeways that hide their true identities behind numbered masks. It's a very strange community. Think American graffiti in an H.P. Lovecraft setting. There are kids, but they either stay indoors studying, practice some art form, or try to get out as often as possible. Sometimes they attend beer parties or congregate at the local record stores, but always there's Whittier Boulevard where cruising teenage teasers on parade chase fruitlessly after an unrealistic dream and usually rationalize being drunk off the bitter wine of sour grapes. It's a refuge for false security and the origin of many prophetic misfits. Very few families leave, anchored by some founding father's curse. And that bastion of know-all, the Staley Ruse, eschews national events for coverage of high school sweetheart weddings, dubious senior citizen achievements, and CIF sports finals. It's a United States microcosm, and you can find it all from Barrio Brothers and Blacks on Scholarships to snobbish socialites and enterprising Orientals. But safeness is only a social disguise, and recycled water runs deep from the terraces of sheltered suburbia to the back street skid row alley dwellers. Unfortunately, the progress here lies in the withered hands and stagnant minds of complacent, jaded folks who cling to the past like a deflating life preserver putting blood on their doors so the 60s would pass. Confusion wrapped my adolescence with Indian gauze, afternoon tea with Aaron and Cotterman and the prophets, Shakespeare, Hemingway, and Bruce. 17th birthday, Le Dome and a St. Christopher's medal, with love from Dad. Ritz crackers and haagen -Dazs. dial room service on a princess phone, red cowboy boots getting soaked walking up the hill from the whiskey in the rain, to the top of the Tishman building where I stand in the sunlight and shout, Jill Amanda Martin has landed.
There isn't a menu on this window of experience. These are angels going the distance, teams of destiny delivering. Lions, Oilers, Aztecs, Surf Punks, Martian Sheiks, and now the Falcons have arrived. The last decade was an audible. But I've got the ball now. I've got the ball now. Now! Proven third down magic! So if in doubt, check, check these, these oxide, oxide rooms, rooms out. out. The, the tape, tape doesn't lie. lie. And, and catalogs, catalogs already, already being worked, worked man. man.